Hi, I'm Michel from uh, Berlin. I'm the European distributor for Kinefinity, which is a Beijing-based company, camera manufacturer. And here we're looking at their fourth generation camera, which is the Kinemax 6K. So it's a 6K Super 35 camera, which shoots uh, RAW. And um, right, the, the main thing about this camera is that it's very versatile. So we have a, a lot of different uh, resolutions, different frame rates. It can go high speed in 4K up to 100 frames. Uh, we have an exchangeable lens mount system. You can mount PL, EF, uh, Nikon, uh, OCT19 and B4 directly on those mounts. We have uh, audio fully covered with three options. Uh, there's an internal mic, so if you just run and gun, uh, a jack in for shotgun microphones or two XLR um, inputs. Uh, it, it records on SSD internally. Actually, the, the whole um, recording system is based on uh, internal recording. So they are non-proprietary, so you can use uh, any third-party SSDs as long as they are fast enough. Um, now about the codex, oh yeah, we have a built-in battery plate and this side grid is also uh, includes batteries. So you can, you can change the battery and this will keep the, the camera powered. You can also shoot only with this, gives you power for about an hour. Just with this it's about um, six hours of which is quite a, quite a lot. Here we have a monitor. Um, it's not working right now, but later it will show the different settings that you set up. We have HDMI in, two, um, two SDI, uh, sorry, HDMI out, two SDI out. They are not suitable for, for recording, just for monitoring. Uh, 1080p uh, is the signal. We have, um, we have actually three um, uh, power uh, um, outlets. Here's a 5 volt USB. We have a, a TC out with 14.8 um, and a DTAP here on the battery plate. So you can power uh, a wireless follow focus or a monitor or whatever device you want. Um, talking about the codecs and software, so it records mainly in their own codec, which is called Kino Raw. It's a lossless compression of 3 to 1. Um, this uh, can be read directly in, in Scratch, and we're working with other software companies to, to implement it. Um, otherwise, you can, they provide a software, a transcoding software, which allows you to transcode it back to Cinema DNG or to Cineform. So we have these three codecs. Um, you can record um, in, in 4K, you can record directly Cineform or Cinema DNG. Uh, same for 2K and all the other forms. Um, when it comes to, if, if you change the resolution from like it's a 6K Super 35 sensor, so if you go to 4K, you have the, the choice either to crop into the sensor, so you have the full pixel readout, or uh, they can um, do a, like a downscaling. Um, right, and the same applies to uh, 4K, 2K, 3K, all the resolutions. We just launched a, a new EF mount with a, a, a lens inside, so kind of like a speed booster, okay. which gets the crop factor down from 1.6 to 1.1. So this is almost like a full frame camera with that uh, special mount. Other than that, we have uh, Nikon, OCT19 and B4. Okay, so this is actually the, the production version from on the hardware level. There's a few software things like getting this monitor to display things. So shipping will happen in about two weeks. First in China to get a few units out to get some feedback. If there are any bugs, if they have to call them back, it will be much easier from China. And then in May they will ship worldwide. It's, uh, it starts at 8,000 for the body. Uh, and then you have, this is for example optional, the, the lens mounts are optional, the side grip. So we can say that uh, the full kit ready to shoot is about um, 10 to 11,000.